friends. I'm glad you are here. We're going underwater into the ocean. We're gonna go swimming with sharks. <laughs> not, not truly, not officially. It's just in our imagination. <laughs> We're gonna play with words, songs, technology, working together. <laughs> Let's get rolling. I'm gonna sing a song where I would like you to share with me a pet and a rhyme for that word. So say you say dog, think of a word that rhymes with dog. Yeah, and then post that in the comments. Or if you think of a rhinoceros, <laughs> oh boy, I don't know if you have a pet rhinoceros. And if you do, I don't know if I'll get a rhyme, but maybe I could do um, rhino, you know, I don't know. But you, you pick the pets, okay? Here we go, maybe you know the song. There was a great big moose, he drink a, <laughs> Got all tongue tied. I'll start over. There was a great big moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. There was a great big moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. Sing whoa. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> That's the idea. Oh, cat. I love it. Okay, ready? There was a great big cat. He liked to run around like that. There was a great big cat. He liked to run around like that. <laughs> Okay, how about shark? There was a great big shark. He liked to swim in the dark. There was a great big shark. He liked to swim in the dark. Sing whoa. Eo, 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 eo. Oh, 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 oh. Eo, 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 eo. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, let's see. Maybe uh, a frog? Anybody have a pet frog? There was a great big frog. He liked to pretend to be a dog. There was a great big frog. He liked to pretend to be a dog. Sing ribbit, ribbit, woof, woof, woo! <laughs> Frogs pretending to be a dog. <laughs> Let's see. Frog. Cat, he said. Um, how about rat? Oh, that rhymes with cat. We could have had the cat pretend to be a rat. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's just try one. More. Hmm. I'm gonna put Grace on the spot. Grace is backstage coming up later. Grace, I need a pet and a word that rhymes with it. Uh, the first word that I thought was armadillo. Armadillo! Oh what my goodness, you're armadillo? keeping you're keeping me on my toes. Um, armadillo. Oh, I got it! I got it! Okay, okay. Oh, and then we'll yeah, we'll do cat, cat and bat rhymes. That was good when we saw. Okay, ready? You, now, if you wanna, if you wanna, uh, um, okay, let's let's see how I do. Ready? There was a great big armadillo. He had a name. It was Farmer Willow. <laughs> there was a great big armadillo. His name was Farmer Willow. What do you think? Did that that work? I like it. Does scribble <laughs> rhyme with armadillo? Um, it, it's in the ballpark for sure. It's in yeah. the ballpark. Yeah. <laughs> all right. This is fun. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I can do this all, man. I know. I, I I hear you. I love it. Well, Grace, thanks for helping out with the word. We'll see you later in Language Explorers. Well, friends, right now, let's check in and see what Moby's got to say. Is he gonna be about it? Did you know that sharks don't have any bones? <laughs> I just read about it. Yeah, sharks have cartilage instead of bones. Cartilage is softer, it's more flexible, and it means it can move and bend, but it keeps its shape. Ha ha ha. Cartilage is what your ears are made of. Mm -hmm. Your ears can move and bend, but they're still shaped like ears. Ha 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 ha. Cartilage is so cool. My ears are, where are my ears? Amazing. Sharks don't have bones. It's cartilage. Hmm. Do I have bones? Do I have cartilage? I'll have to do more research on my end. Well, friends, it's time for today's three sentence story. Beginning, middle, end. We write our three sentences using three words that you share. Our friends watching with us, working with us. In the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. But you know what happens in the third sentence, right? Solution! 
It was fun to say that way. Okay, so we'll solve our problem in three sentences. In the first sentence, we'd like to set the scene, find out kind of the tone of the story. Is it silly? Is it a mystery? Is it go underwater with the sharks? Does it go up in the sky? Are there flying sharks? There's flying squirrels. Um, are there any animals in the ocean that jump out and fly? I, I don't know. Monkey! Ha ha ha! Okay, perfect. Our story begins with a monkey. It was a clear Saturday morning when a monkey jumped in the ocean to go for a swim. It's a story about a monkey going swimming in the ocean. What's the monkey going to see? What's going to happen? Oh, man, there's a problem. There's going to be a problem under the ocean, so it might involve sea creatures. It might involve uh, a submarine. It might involve um, getting stuck in seaweed. What word? It could be silly. It could be logical. Who knows? Fork. <laughs> All right. There's a problem. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Here we go. It was a clear Saturday morning when a monkey jumped into the ocean to go for a swim. Lunchtime was coming soon, and the monkey realized, How do I eat my macaroni and cheese? I forgot to bring a fork. <laughs> that monkey had a little backpack with the lunch. And packed macaroni and cheese, of all things, underwater with no fork. How does the monkey solve this problem of eating? Basically, it's a problem of eating lunch. Hmm. Shark. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks for the idea for the solution. Here we go. It was a clear Saturday morning as a monkey jumped into the ocean to go for a swim. Lunchtime was coming soon, and the monkey realized I forgot to bring my fork to eat my macaroni and cheese. A shark swam by and said, You can use my teeth as a fork. <laughs> the shark, the shark decided to like feed the monkey. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's the shark. Oh. This actually, it's, I guess it solves the problem. The, the, the shark's offering to help using his teeth. Wait a minute. Is this like a, um, like a Little Red Riding Hood kind of story? Oh, no. Is the monkey at risk? Oh, no. We shouldn't just assume that the shark's going to cause trouble. The shark was helping. Oh, my goodness. Lots to think about. Lots to do. I think, though, this is the start of a whole ongoing adventure. Ooh, what could the name of the monkey be? What could the name of the shark be? Which ocean are they in? What kind of macaroni and cheese was it homemade? All these questions that can still be answered. Well, friends, our words are monkey, fork, and shark. It's time now to go to Nia in the New York City Women's Lab to see what she's got going for today's words. Monkey, fork, shark. Hi, Nia. Hi, Wimmy. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. That's you good think, to hear. Do you think the shark... Helping truly, well, or is it set up a new storyline? I would think the shark is being helpful. Everyone should be helpful. I know. Yeah. Oh, it, the shark's offered to use its teeth in its mouth. Yeah, I don't know if his teeth would be such a good idea. But, of course, it was nice that he suggested yes, that. I know. I think the story's still to be determined, and I'm going to have faith in the shark. Yeah, me too. So let me show you what we have. And then like always, Wimmy, we're going to add more. Uh, All right. Great. Oh. So far, we have, Wimmy, do you see you in the back? I do. Yeah. I'm coming with cool. some more lunch. <laughs> so we have our monkey. He has a bag. We also have two sharks. You can see closely there's the teeth. Maybe I'll make that a different color. And then we have Wimmy in the back. Wimmy, what do you have in your boat? Oh, do I have... Uh, is it a cup ice cream and cupcake and lunch fish? Yeah, fish? it's lunch. You have yeah. lunch too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I so should share. I should share my lunch with everybody. I think you should. That would be so sweet, Wimmy. <laughs> what do you think we should add, Wimmy? What do you think? Ooh, uh, let me see. Um, maybe some more sea creatures. Um, Ooh, what are we thinking? Maybe some uh. Fish. I think, yeah, just good classic fish. Um, fish. Yeah. Friends, any ideas at home for what we could add? Ooh, maybe flying fish. 
Flying fish. Yeah. Oh man, owns a diner and has extra forks. <laughs> oh, we can do a diner, diner on the water. Yeah. yeah. Is it an under underwater diner or Ooh. above water? Hmm. Maybe it's floating. Oh, it's a vegetarian shark. The monkey's safe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, and Barney's invited. Invited. We saw Joe posted that Barney and oh seaweed. Seaweed. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, I can't wait to see the update. We got seaweed. We got friends. We got man. There's so many possibilities, right, Nia? So many. Definitely. Oh, Super Xavier says an octopus. So let me show you. Oh, we could add an octopus. Let me show you. So far, okay. oh. so where he's sitting, that's going to be our dino over there. And then we have our flying fish. Nice. And salt and pepper. <laughs> add some flavor. Yeah. Yeah, add some flavor. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, Nia, thanks so much. We'll check back with you later to see what updates you make to today's image. <laughs> Friends, today we get to learn how today's words are said uh, in Spanish. It's time for a language explorer. Oh, Grace is here to teach us the words. Hi, Language Grace. explorers. Oh, Hi. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Hola, amigos. Hola. Hola, Wimmy. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Ah, ¿Cómo sí. estás, Wimmy? Yeah, sí, bien. Um, teach me how to say I'm good, too. Estoy bien. Estoy bien. Got it. Okay, I thought I was, okay, I, I, I forgot that, but yeah. Estoy bien. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, <Whoa>. Wimmy. You're practicing <laughs> your Spanish. Yes. I'm so happy. So the first word is monkey. A monkey in Spanish is mono. Mo no. This one's kind no. of simple. Do you want to it say is. it with me, Wimmy? I love it. Mo, it. Mo no. no. Mono. Mono. A silly <laughs> mono. <laughs> I like it. The next word, fork, is a little bit longer, so okay. hold on with me. Te ne dor. E it's kind of sell there. Do. Yeah. Te ne dor. Don't forget the R at the end. <laughs> Tenedor. 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 Good job, everybody. Nice. It's got a nice feel to it, like tenedor. Yeah. I want a tenedor. <laughs> For my macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Say that at the table when you go and eat, friends. <laughs> Tell your mom that, but make sure to say please. please. I want more. a tenedor, please. <laughs> and our last word, I love this word. I love sharks, by the way, but sharks in Spanish are tiburon. 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 Yeah. Friends, you want to say it with me? Ti. Boo-ron. Good job. Uh -huh. I love it. You said you really love sharks. Is there Are there any stories or certain things? No, that, I just watch you? Shark Week on, <laughs> on TV <laughs> <laughs> and watch people swim with sharks nice. and pat the sharks and respect the sharks. Sometimes oh. they have to be apart from them. But the people that I love are is that they do research on sharks. And you know why they're doing research? because they want to protect the sharks because sharks are an apex predator and they're an important part of our ecosystem. So we need to take mm -hmm. care of that. We're all connected Ooh. with me, all in this big world. We need to watch out for one another. That is true, true indeed. Will you teach me? You said they are an apex predator. What yeah. does that mean? It's not kind of like a, a crocodile or a tiger or a lion. They're part of this chain, sometimes people okay. call it of how we're connected. When you remove that or you're killing off too many of those, something happens in the chain and yeah. things aren't right in the world. Things aren't right in nature. Yeah. So we all belong. We all have our place in nature. So they're kind of at the top. <laughs> so they're kind of be a little scary, but they're needed too. We need sharks in the world. Sharks That's rule. True. That's true. <laughs> I love it. Well, Grace, thanks so much. We'll see you later in the show. <laughs> Friends. We get to learn about technology and the show, stories, language, working together, so many cool things. It's time for today's Tech Talk. Uh, hi, Colleen. Hey, Wemmy. How are you today? 
Ah, <laughs> great. I'm loving okay. this show about sharks. Do you like sharks? I, um, yeah, actually I do. They're just, they always just seem so calm as they're going through the water. And then you just never know what to expect. You know, that like, like a, like a horror movie, you oh. know, where, yeah, where it makes you jump. And I know some people love that, you know. I'm not so much, yeah. but, but I do love okay. sharks. I love anything that's in the water. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what have you got for today's TikTok? So I um, have a uh, resource, actually, to learn more about sharks. And it's through the Michigan Library, the, the Library of Michigan um, it's called Mel, uh, the Michigan Library that has their resources online. I think you can see that screen there, right? Yeah. Um, so mel.org. And then in the center of the screen, you can see where it says e-resources. So you just click on that. And then right in the middle, there's this cute little boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And right below that, you see Pebble Go. Great. So when you get to Pebble Go, it may ask you for some information depending on where you're coming from. If it doesn't think, if it doesn't know you're in Michigan, it may yeah. ask you um, for some for a library card or something. But anyway, so you can see right here animals, and it, it's it, it's really awesome. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it popped up a different window, so it's not in the. Same oh no! Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, That's okay. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, let me That's see okay. if I can get it to do it in the same window. Or, uh, yeah, I think it's automatically, unfortunately, set up to do a pop-up. If you pop it up, it. though, and take out the other screen and put the other one in, I'll sing a song while you take this one out and put I that one in. I think I might be okay. You go ahead, and I, I okay. think I got it here. Okay, okay. It's going to be a song about sharks. Oh, you've got it. How did you do that it. so fast? <laughs> technology, Wimmy. I'm a wow. technology librarian. That was so fast. That was so fast. Okay, keep going. Okay, so we got animals with our lion yeah. here. Now let's see if this pops up a different window, too. Nope. Well, good. We see an animal. Okay. Good. Animal be an oh, an oh, and you'll see. Did you hear that? I did. Yeah, so it tells you with, that's why I love Pebble Go. You can listen to it, you can see it, and then you can read it. So it's awesome for all of our learners out there. Um, so I believe, where would we look for a shark, do you think? Hmm. Well, would it be We could fish? look for it, maybe. Or, or um, you know what, if we don't know, right up here, see that little cool. magnifying glass? Yeah. That's a clue that if we type in the word, <gasps> Look at all those types Whoa. of sharks. Whoa. Which one should we pick? Ooh, mega mouth sharks. Mega I'm mouth thinking. sharks. Okay, yeah. here we go. Cool. So you can read it or you can listen to it. Mega mouth sharks are fish. There you go. Our fish wow. with wide, shiny mouths. Look at that little guy. That's so awesome. It is a mega mouth. Yep. Wow. And then you can learn about, so that's about its body. It's 17 feet long. It's habitat or where it lives. It's in warm ocean waters near the surface. Ooh. Um, and then the food it eats, its lifestyle, fun facts, and reading more about it, it actually takes you to some books that wow. you can, or read more about different other sharks, depending on, on the article. So that's wow. Pebble Go, and everybody has access to that through um, uh, through the your state tax dollars, through the, through a Library of Michigan. So animals. Whoa, whoa. So yeah, so exciting. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to go after the show and learn more about sharks and oh, animals. Oh, do. Yes. Like I said, <laughs> and then they also have a ton of other things, too. It's not just animals. So anything you have a question about, check out Pebble Go. I love it. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Good to see you all, everybody. <laughs> Pebble Go, sharks. You know what? It's time for a joke from our friend Simply. <laughs> song together. Are you ready? <laughs> We're going to do it. Kind of like we do our opening song. This one, though, is going to be a song for a fun new friend of ours. Take a look. See that, see that, see that friend in the tank? Oh, take note of the picture and start thinking about some ideas for the song. I'm going to ask some specific questions. We'll come back to this picture in a bit. But here's what I want you to help me with. Can you tell me where that friend is from? What's their name? Number three, what do they like to do? Number four, favorite food. Five, how old is that friend? And six, we need a couple interesting facts 
about our new friend. So let's uh, let's put this together step by step. I'm gonna ask our friends backstage to help with this too. So we got number one, we need a name. Number two, where are they from? So just in the comments, post any of the answers you got for this. Name, where are they from? Things they like to do, favorite foods. Oh, we know, I think we know sharks might like macaroni and cheese, or at least maybe, I, we don't know that for sure. In our story, the shark was helping the monkey to eat the macaroni and cheese. So that doesn't mean the, I don't know. But how old is this friend? Oh, Joseph from Minneapolis. I like that. We could, Joe, do you want to pretend that you are a shark from Minneapolis? That's so fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Our song is about Joseph, a shark from Minneapolis. What does this shark like to do? Post that in the comments. Or if Grace or Nia and Michael's backstage, if anyone's got an idea. Oh, I think Grace might. I have a feeling based on the backstage camera of Grace. Grace, do you have an idea for anything? What this friend likes to do, a favorite food, an age, or an interesting fact? Um, I think age should be infinity. <laughs> infinity! Ha <laughs> ha! That's so fun. Okay, so Joseph, the shark from Minneapolis, is infinity years old. We need some more ideas. Maybe Michael or Nia's got an idea. Friends at home, post in the comments. Let's see. Ooh, play! The shark loves to play. And what else does the shark like to do? We're going to put all these ideas together in a moment for the song. We need more ideas of what the shark... Ooh, wrestling! Ha ha ha! The shark wrestles and plays favorite food. Ooh, french fries! There it is. Favorite food is french fries. And then we need one more thing. The most... Inter an interesting thing that we do not know about this... Uh, oh, Michael's backstage with an idea. Michael, what don't we know about our new friend? The friend loves to hike oh it's a hiking shark <laughs> it's, a, it's a hiking shark a hiking shark that's awesome i love it i love it all right we'll do it <laughs> okay we'll we'll put it all together let's put the picture on the screen let's see if i can remember everything before i start the song that says joseph from minneapolis loves to play and wrestle favorite food is french fries Okay, I think we got it. Here we go, friends. It is now time for our song. Here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph's from Minneapolis. Joseph loves to play and also loves to wrestle. His favorite food are french fries. He's infinity years old, but I bet you did not know. Joseph is a hiking shark. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Joseph the wrestling hiking shark. <laughs> we did it! Thanks, Joe. Thanks, friends. Thanks, everybody, for helping out with our song about Joseph the wrestling shark. Wrestling hiking shark. My goodness, so many cool attributes, so many things to do. All right, friends, let's check back with Nia to see if Nia has an update. Woohoo! Nia, do you have an update for today's women? Alrighty, are you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. What? There we go. What do you see that's new, Wimmy? I see the, the restaurant, the cafe. The octopus was suggested. Uh, salt and pepper, the flying fish. I love all the water. It's like so vibrant, full of water. The monkey's got mac and cheese. <laughs> and a friend. And a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to share. And then we have an octopus on your boat with me. Do you see? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I do. Man, that's so fun. <laughs> we should. We maybe later we could add Joseph the wrestling hiking shark in the picture too. Ooh, uh -huh. So many possibilities. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks, Nia, for the update to the Wimage. Friends, it's time to have our Find It Fast scavenger hunt. Are you ready? We're going to invite you to find some things. Can you find something that starts with S? Shark starts with S. Can you find something with points? Speaking of teeth, sharks have pointy teeth. They have the fin that has a point, and ooh, a great white shark. Oh, that's one of the famous sharks. Can you find something white? And go! See if you can find these things. If you got them, post it in the comments. Friends back page, let us know. Nia's got something. Let's find out what Nia has found. What have you got, Nia? I have my ear pod case. White. Oh, it's white. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. All right. Things that are white, things that are pointy or have points. Something that starts with S. Oh, Miss Clay, what you got? I have a pen with a point. It's pointy. Yay! <laughs> it is. It is. Nice. 
nicely done. Ooh, I wonder if you could find a white pen that starts with S. Can we get all three? It's always fun to get the trilogy, all three in one. Friends, keep posting in the comments. Friends backstage, let us know what you found. <laughs> Man, let's see. Sam starts with S. Um, Salamander starts with S. Paper is often white. Uh, I think Grace has got some things. Aha! Ooh, we got salt, fork, white table. Ding, 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 ding. A fork has points. A white computer. Nice. A piece of paper. My sister! Ha, 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 ha! So fun, so fun. I love it. Let's see. What you got, Grace? Oh, I have soda. Search this. S. I have uh, a pointy thing, a fork. Nice. Poke, poke, poke. <laughs> And <laughs> I have my white charger. Oh, the cable my cell phone. I got <laughs> You got all three. That's fun how the fork ties into our story today, too. Nia, what have you got? I have a Sharpie. Search with this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's kind of it's pointy, too. Right? Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, friends. This is so fun. Do the scavenger at home sometime, anytime list, tell your friends, tell your family, play a song, set a timer, make it all day. You could, I mean, you could make it a week-long scavenger hunt. That might be quite a bit. Oh, he has paper wipes. <laughs> a snake. Oh, I love this. I love all these things you're finding. Nice job, friends. All right, so I was thinking, let's check in with Michael. He was there with us, um, uh, giving uh, uh, some insights there. How you doing, Michael? Hey, Wimmy. Hey, friends. Hey, Miss Colleen, Nia, everybody watching. Grace, what a great show. I was backstage. I was watching. And I'm just happy to be a part of the show. I love it. I love it. Hey, you know the, the Wimmy dream book that you and Stephanie and Kevin and me have been working on? Yeah. When I when I dove underwater in that one scene, um, this, there was that, a catfish. There were, were there any sharks around? That I, I, didn't... I don't think there was a shark, but yeah. maybe we should see... What's in that dream of yours? Okay, let's look close and see if when I'm underwater, let's see if we see any sharks. Awesome, so this- Wimmy sat down, looked around the room, and began to wonder. He dreamed of diving underwater to sing to the seaweed while delightfully dancing all day. Fish go swimming one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Wait a minute, is that a catfish? <laughs> the catfish goes swimming one by one. Meow, meow. <laughs> oh my goodness, I like it down here. I didn't see Wimmy, it. I did not see a shark, but I did see an abandoned ship. <gasps> I did see an anchor. I had points. I had points. Ship started with um, us. And seaweeds. See, we search with us. I was yeah. thinking the same thing. The only thing white that I could find was my eyeballs in my control <laughs> panel. <laughs> and, oh, the yeah. submarine sandwich <gasps> on your submarine. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, search with us. Yeah. <laughs> submarine. <laughs> That's so fun. It's so <laughs> a well, great show. Right, sharks, friends, technology, music, singing. I think it's time to... Uh, Oh, I'm always kind of sad when it's time to wrap up the show. Don't cry, Wimmy. What's wrong? There'll be more shows, right? And friends can watch us on Wimmy.tv. And now they can go to PBS.org and search Wimmy. And they'll find you, Wimmy. So thank you, PBS. <laughs> yeah. That's so exciting, right? It launched yesterday onto the, the website of PBS.org and through the Michigan Learning Channel, Detroit Public Television, and Kent District Library, and all the partners and all of us. It, it, it's there. Yeah, you're you're about to go Hollywood, Wimmy. What? Oh no, man! I'm. I can I'm see West... it right now. Wimmy goes to Hollywood. I'll go visit, but I'm a, I'm a Michigander. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for you. How about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you can like tune me in through the stream and I'd be like, Michael, how's it going out there? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what's cool too about the videos that are there is um, the, tr uh, the closed captioning that was added to each episode. And that's so special because we have many friends who perhaps um, are not able to hear. And so it's awesome that they're able to actually read it. No, and it's fun to, I just enjoy it myself reading it and seeing the words as I listen. It helps me to follow along even more. And the editing that Chad did, and oh my I gosh, I, I, this is fun. 
Well, it's many more to come. Thank you, friends, for watching. Please continue to like. Oh, no! Michael's pretending to be a this, statue. Uh-oh. It froze a little bit. You're back. Did I, did I freeze? Back. Okay, great. Moment. You're back. Awesome. So before I freeze again, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> let's dance. Nia, Grace, let's do it, friends. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for singing, creating, scavenger hunting, technology thinking, building. Oh, man. Oh, man. Soda starts with S. Oh, look at the dance moves. Oh, there's a little me. <laughs> Ooh, your headphones are white, Michael. And yes. the, their collar, it has some points on the collar. And, um... Sensational Super! Those start with S, and that's you, our friends! <laughs> See you soon! Thanks, everybody! Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District <laughs> Library and Wimmage, with additional support by these great partners. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.